What's going on, guys? As you can see, I have a microphone here, a gaming chair, some nice headphones, which can only mean one thing. I'm launching a podcast. Uh, yes, another 30-year-old male who moved to Austin, Texas from Los Angeles is starting a podcast. And so I know what you are thinking. Why, God, why, God, why are you doing this? Yeah, honestly, it's uh, pretty selfish reasons, <laughs> if, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, you know, I've been a builder and l let me take a step back. What is the podcast even about? Right. So I really wanted to explore the intersection of web three and entertainment from a lens that is both entertaining and informative. I feel like a lot of the content I selfishly am looking for today is ends up being like very dry and theoretical, or it's coming from a bunch of VCs who are highly, you know, viewing from their armchair expert position. And, and really, I'm looking for more content from people who are building. And so I thought to myself, you know, I'm, I'm building, <laughs> you know, maybe I have a perspective that people, people care about. And so you know, I just a little bit about myself, you know, I've been in entertainment, uh, and in product world and web three, uh, collectively for eight years, if you add all that together, break that up a little bit. So I spent five years at Amazon. I was in retail for a year and a half before uh, moving to Amazon Music, negotiating contracts with record labels. And so I have a deep understanding of the music industry, how artists get paid, how that whole side of the business works. And then I moved down to Los Angeles and I went to work for Venice Music. I was employee, I believe, number eight at the time in 2019, moving there to work and lead the operations team. And then I ended up leading our product organization, building out our MVP uh, with, with no product experience, which I'm sure I'll get into uh, in the pod because that was really shapes a lot of how I view the world, how I think about products today and, and what we're doing in Web3. Uh, and yeah, so built distribution pipes for artists and managers to distribute their music to places like Spotify and Apple and, and what have you. And and really build that like independent music operating system that we are looking to, to achieve there. And then I spent the last year diving fully into Web3. So I've been in the space since 2017. I had written a white paper when like the first wave of Web3 music was coming about and people were thinking about how do you do on-chain metadata and licensing and how this could revolutionize the entire industry. And honestly, like it fell a little bit flat back then, but now it's really picking up steam and and really i i started diving back in fully when nft started popping off at the top of 2021 and i remember uh, it was first the cultural ones i was trying to get the top shot nfts i was trying to get board ape uh it shows a little bit of my naivety at the time that i thought when i missed mint for board ape i uh, didn't realize about the secondary market and so we've, we've definitely come a long way since then but i remember seeing a lot of artists building in the space creators building in the space and thinking that you know there was there's a real moment that was being captured here in a real way that people were capturing their independence. And so, you know, I'm looking forward now as I've transitioned out of my role at Venice Music into doing some advising, but really focused on building a lot of content for you guys, building things that are both educational and informative, but really with someone who's in the arena still, I'm still really viewing this as a giant experiment and looking to do new things with how content is not only received, but then how does it become you know, participatory? I think oftentimes, if you've just looked at how content's been consumed historically, it's very one directional, right? Like you're sitting on your TV, you're staring at your phone, wherever, like, wherever you're consuming the content, you're consuming, it's coming at you. And I really want this to be a bi-directional relationship with how I'm looking to build this, how I'm looking for the community to get involved and really be the value of, of what we create together to accrue back to the community and doing that in a variety of ways, mainly through building unique products in the space. And so a lot more of that is going to be coming, a lot of work going behind the scenes. I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. Uh, that would go against everything I learned at Amazon. So we're definitely gonna try to underpromise and overdeliver. But know that it, this is very much going to be an experiment uh, that we'll continue to iterate on. And so yeah, what you can expect is just hopefully some engaging, fun, uh, intelligent on the guest part conversation. And, and maybe I'll have a little bit to say about that as well. And we're going to bring in artists, we're going to bring in managers, we're going to bring in builders, and we're going to talk about big 
topics. If you've read my newsletter, One Big Idea, it's, it's going to be in the same vein of like, what are these big macro trends that are shaping the industry today and tomorrow? And how can you capitalize on them? You know, what should you be looking for? Why are the people that are still here building here? You know, it's not a fun time to build. It's a bear market. Like there are a lot easier things to do, a lot more lucrative things to do in this present moment. And so I want to talk to those people. I want to get them in the seat and, and get a sense of why they do what they do and and have some thoughtful conversations about it. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll iterate along the way and see what works and you know, we'll scrap the rest. But I can promise you that you know I'm gonna bring it and 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 build this with you guys. And I just look forward to the journey. So thank you all for being here. Uh, I hope, you know, there are 800,000 podcasts. I hope this is one that you continue to come back to and that it's useful and we'll, we'll just keep it going. So you'll hear from me soon.